Hi, Bill Edstrom here. This is another new feature in Traction 6. This is the Comp Groups. And the way this works is you can just take any selection of tracks, assign them to a comp group, and then proceed to do a composite with those groups. That way, if you didn't start with loop recording, you can still use a composite style editing technique. And that can save you a lot of muting and unmuting and pretty much make the workflow go faster. So I've got these guitar parts that are just recorded to tracks. And the first thing I'm gonna do is actually name the tracks. I'll show you a little trick with this as well. So you click on the track header and hit tab, which immediately opens up the field. So you can type in your, I'll just put this guitar take one. And at this point, I'm also going to copy this with uh, command C so that I've got it ready to go on the next one. So I'll hit the next track hit tab, I'll paste that in and change that to two. And then up here, I'll hit tab, paste that in and change it to three. So that's just a maybe slightly quicker way to rename those. Now we're gonna just do a shift select to select all three of these takes. Then I'm going to assign them right down here. You click on the track and then right here, this is the group comp and then you just basically add a group. And it gives you a group comp name. I guess I used one before called group comp one. So it just automatically assigns it something. You could give it a unique name because you can actually have multiples of these going at the same time. I'm just gonna use a one. And then they get shaded like any other composite. And now you can swipe over the sections that you wanna keep. So say I wanna keep that, this, and I guess we'll just keep something from here like that. Now on playback, it'll automatically just switch between these sections. Now once you have what you'd like, selected, you can then also render the tracks. So we've got these tracks selected. We can do render tracks and then render to a new track. And that gives you the render dialog box like this. And since it's not stereo, I'm gonna flip this button here. So I continue to render it just as it was and then click render. And there's my new composite if I solo this. Now, another thing about this is that you need to have, or you have the option to turn the editor on or off, and that's done right here. You can see show editor. There is a couple of features, show the track composites and show edit track comp. So if this is turned off, you can no longer do the composite editing. And if this one is turned off, then you don't see the built out composite shading that's on the track as well. So you need to have this turned on as well as this turned on. Now, if you are on a single individual track, you'll see that that still works that way, but there's an additional way to open the track composite editor, and that's right here. That's if you have a single track selected, you've got another way to show this. You can also group these into a folder track. So I'm gonna do that right now, create a folder containing my comp. And then once these are in here, then all these controls are still right here in the comp groups feature, including the show and the hide the editor. So that's another, just something to be aware of that it's slightly different if you have a single track selected, you have this additional way. Also when they're in the folder, because the folder unfolder command is here, that additional way to show the editor is not available. That's the reason I wanted to show you that. Now another trick here is if you are trying to get something blanked out, like once you're working with these, and you get a lot of stuff selected, then you can't easily clear 
the selection. Well, a kind of a cool trick is to add another track. So create a new track that's just blank and add it to the group. Um, we'll add it to group two. And now we can select it. So as you do that, you can actually select a blank track to go along with your composite. And that way you can select areas that you want. You know, essentially nothing playing during that section. So that's kind of a cool trick. This is a new feature. It's already proven to be a useful addition to the comping features that already existed for loop recording. Thanks for watching.